American politicians love to sing the praises of small businesses. However, with a pandemic going on, we've got small businesses disappearing very fast. At this point, one third of small businesses in both New York and New Jersey have gone under, with more expected to disappear soon. It's really bad. And without federal dollars coming into New Jersey, the Main Street stores and other establishments aren't going to make it through the winter. But while small businesses are falling on hard times, other folks have been raking in the Benjamins. Things are going great for Amazon. With people stuck at home and shopping online, the corporate giant has been on a hiring binge with 427,300 new employees in just 10 months. It appears they're not afraid to kick the little guys, even when they're down. Many small companies that have told us during this year-long investigation that they were mistreated, abused, and tossed aside by Amazon. The evidence we've collected shows that Amazon is only interested in exploiting its monopoly power over the e-commerce marketplace. Now, on the surface of it, it looks like this is just simply a pandemic. It's a case of bigger boats staying afloat during a storm. However, if you look a little bit deeper, it seems like things have been rigged. Call me a radical lefty if you'd like, but I refuse to accept a system that enables Jeff Bezos to grow his wealth by $66 billion in five months during a pandemic that's left 40 million Americans on the brink of eviction. American politicians have been talking about imposing restrictions and regulations and raising taxes on the rich. However, it all seems to just be talk. Those rich corporations are getting richer while the American middle class is dying off. Small businesses have to be competitive. They don't have the money to buy the politicians. They don't have the money to get the laws written for them. Think of it this way. We have two capitalisms. We have one capitalism for the big companies that you've heard about. Tesla or Elon Musk or Amazon or Bezos, those you've heard about. And then we have another capitalism, much more competitive, much more relying on each businessman or woman to try to find a way to survive. That's a completely different system, has different rules, has different limits to itself. And, and we live in a system in which these two coexist, but with much bitterness between them. And the irony, very dangerous for the United States, is that an effect of this is to widen, to deepen the inequality. The rich have gotten much, much richer, and the mass of people have gotten poorer. The United States often likes to hail the achievements of the free market and free competition. However, it seems like when certain people rise to the top, they often like to change the rules in order to make sure they stay there. Caleb Moppin, RT, New York.